Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to show you how to access the individual parts for all the instruments in an ensemble score. Now, this is a really basic function of MuseScore, and it's been here uh, pretty much from the beginning in some form. But it seems that a lot of people don't realize that this is a thing and uh, how simple it is, so I'm going to show you. So here I have a score for a full orchestra, and I want to see the parts. I don't want to see the flutes uh, and the oboes and the clarinets all on the same score. I want to see individual parts for each instrument. The way we're going to do that is click the Parts button right here on the toolbar. When I do that, I'll see a list of all the instruments in my score, and if I want, I can just select some of them to open, but I want to just say Open All here. When I click the All Open All button, you'll see now I have individual parts for all of my instruments. Uh, by default, it shows me the last instrument in my score, which was contrabasses, but if I scroll back to the beginning of the list, I'll see, well, here is my first flute part. Here is my second flute part, and so forth. And then you can add formatting to, uh, uh, you know, uh, add line breaks where you want to do any other adjustments you want to do per part. All changes you make to the score automatically affect the part and vice versa as far as the content goes. As far as like, you know, if I change a note here, if I change that F to be down an octave, which of course can't really play, uh, you'll see that that note has also been moved down an octave in the score. They are linked in that way, but formatting is independent so that, for instance, if in the flute part I come here and decide I just want to put a uh, system break right before that 3-4 measure, it is there before the 3-4 measure in this part, but not in, say, the uh, clarinet part, uh, there is not a break right before the 3-4 measure because that would not be appropriate for the clarinet part. So that is the basics of using parts. There's a lot more to it. I've covered that in some of the previous tips that I've done, but I thought I should do one tip where I really just show you the basic functionality of using parts in MuseScore Studio.